who is Eddie, 5,000 points dropping your number. From Cambridge, Massachusetts, Matt Amodio. A writer and podcaster from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Matea Roach. And a self-described game show villain from Las Vegas, Nevada, James Hosau. Thank you, Johnny. James and Matea came into tonight leading this competition, and now they're going head to head. Matt, you came from behind to beat James last time you played. Do you think you can do it again? Let's find out. <laughs> Let's find out. We do have starting in the Jeopardy round, where these six categories are in play. First up, authors, pretty decent reviews. Then we've got a W2 for you. There are two W's in each response. Physics checkup, followed by world coins, classic movies, and Growing Up X. These are clues relating to an exhibit about Gen X at the Illinois State Museum. Now, for those of you at home who like to be surprised by the daily double noise, look away now. I'm going to reveal where it's located in this round. James, get us started. Physics check up a thousand. According to this cosmologist's law, redshift in light coming from a galaxy is directly proportional to its distance from us. Matt. What's Hubble? Yes. Coins, 1,000. The answer there is the daily double in the round. On the downside, you can only wager 1,000. On the upside, you kept it away from James and Matea. I don't know what world they come from, but I will have 1,000 coins. <laughs> Betting 1,000 of whatever our coins are. This is our own little crypto points currency. Here's your clue. Though Mount Ararat is in Turkey, this neighboring country issued a 500 drom coin featuring the mountain, along with Noah's Ark and a dove. What's... Armenia. Armenia is right. You have 2,000 points. Authors, 1,000. Can you pass the test? Entertainment Weekly called her comic Fun Home Witty and Mordant. Mordant might be more fitting. Yeah. The Bechdel. The Bechdel test. Yeah. Uh, pretty decent reviews, eight. The New York Times said she created an indelible portrait of loss and grief after the passing of her husband, John Gregory Dunn. James. With Didion. Well done, yes. W2000. Peter Buxton, vis a vis the Tuskegee syphilis study. He was the whistleblower. Two W's there. James? W28. It's the name for that extra toenail on your dog's foot. James. Duke Law? Yes. W26. If well, you then. want to be fancy about it, a tail coat can have this longer name. Yeah, well. It's the cat. With the swallowtail? That's right. W24. A highlight of New Zealand's Waitomo Caves is a boat ride to a grotto lit by these creatures. James. What are glowworms? Yes. W2. Two. To literally or figuratively cover over the flaws. Perhaps not in a good way. Matt. What's whitewash? You got it. Coins, eight. Cameroon is one of several countries that use a currency called the CFA This. Coins come in values from one to five hundred. James. What's Frank? Good. Coin six. Some coins in this Argentine currency feature trees, including the jacaranda and the myrtle. James. What's well, peso? You got it. Classic movies, a thousand. In this silent film, Charlie Chaplin is a starving prospector, boiled and ate his own boot, which was actually black licorice. James. What's the gold rush? A thousand points for classic cinema lover James Holtz. Right. <laughs> movies eight. This 1979 film about a small group of friends who cycle to victory was ranked by AFI as one of the most inspiring of all time. Let's okay. break away. Yes. Movie six. Could have had class. It could have been a contender, said Marlon Brando in his Oscar winning role in this film. Matea. What's on the waterfront? That's right. Movies four. Residents of a small town are replaced by soulless alien duplicates in this 1956 sci fi classic. Matt. That's an invasion of the body snatchers? Yes. Physics eight. Newton's second law is commonly summarized as this simple three letter equation. James. What is F equals MA? You're correct. Physics 6. It's the measure of the randomness or molecular disorder of a system. The universe is said to be increasing. Matea. What's entropy? Yes. Physics 4. The brightest explosions ever observed, GRBs, are mysterious bursts of bees. Matea. What are gamma rays? That's right. Physics 2. It was the first of the fundamental forces to be systematically described. Matt. What's gravity? Correct. X 1000. On the serious side, the exhibit includes a button-bearing this equation that protested the lack of action or even talk about AIDS. 
The tail. What silence equals death? Correct. X8. This type of printer from Apple that used pins hitting an inked ribbon? You bet it's on display. James. What is dot matrix? Those were the days, yes. X6. Cooler, Nose Marie, and Whopper were some of these alliterative dogs created by Tonka. You're a little too young for pound puppies? Ah, it just One occurred. second too late. A little uh, too late. X400, please. Boasting 64 kilobytes worth of pure computing power, this company's 64 personal computer went for $595 in 80s money. Matt. What's Commodore? Yes. Author 6. The Detroit Free Press said the mummy was vintage this novelist, elegantly erotic and full of enchanting terror. Matt. What's Stoker? No. I also refer to James as elegantly erotic but full of enchanting terror. That's <laughs> Anne Rice. Anne Rice is the mummy. Keep Back it in you. your pants, Ken. <laughs> Back to you, Matt. Uh, author 4. A milestone in the chronicling of the black experience wrote Publishers Weekly about this author's beloved. The Chris Morrison. That's right. Authors 2. The Seattle Times declared 1996's The Runaway Jury by this man to be his most addictive courtroom thriller. Matt. What's Grisham? Yes. Coins 4. In 2023, to celebrate the current Lunar New Year, the Solomon Islands issued three coins featuring this animal. James. My fifth, my daughter's favorite. What's a rabbit? You're the rabbit, yes. Coins too. In 2022, Samoa honored Sesame Street with a $5 coin featuring this Muppet popping out of his trash can. Grouch, Spear the Grouch. Spear the Grouch is right. Movies too? No man is a failure who has friends is just one of the lessons George Bailey learns in this Christmas classic. James. What is It's a Wonderful Life? Tell me you've seen it. Unwillingly. <laughs> Growing up X2. Final clue. Of course there's a video case dating back to 1993 from this rental chain. Let's make it up this night. James. What is Blockbuster? Blockbuster is right. That takes you to 8,200 points. You're in the lead as we head into double jeopardy. Matt Amodi will select first when we come back. <laughs> Doctoral researcher from Cambridge, Massachusetts. As we know, you feel you're here on the shoulders of giants, other Jeopardy players who have inspired you. Who would you like to shout at? It can be anybody, they don't have to be here. Absolutely. So I like thinking about game theory and optimizing my play. I'm a terrible person to play board games with at home as a result. But uh, I just want to thank uh, James because while well, there are many luminaries uh, who uh, uh, who played Jeopardy in a uh, game theoretical optimal way, I think James took it to a whole new level. He did. Thank you, sir. He absolutely did. Just James. He's pretty much the only one. I'm not looking at anyone else. <laughs> but Tara Roach is a writer and a podcaster. Now, you come to us from Toronto, Ontario, and as a result, unlike Matt and James, you have to cross an international border every time you play Jeopardy. Yeah, so I think by the time this airs, I'll have crossed customs like six times uh, for various Jeopardy appearances, which has to be approaching some kind of record. And at U.S. Customs, I think they want to ask like a certain amount of follow-up questions, kind of regardless of what you say your reason for entering the country is. Uh, so many times, I've 